you'd say that. I beg your pardon? Aren't you looking for Miss Jasmine? I was. I mean, we are. Uh, uh, won't you sit down, Miss... Uh... Janine Fleur. Thank you. Have you done much modeling, Miss Fleur? I'm sure I could be everything you want. In a Miss Jasmine, that is. You might. Yes, you just might. <laughs> Hello, Larry. Can you come in here for a minute? Good. Is something wrong? Wrong? No. You may solve a very big problem for me, Miss Fleur. Oh, Janine. Well? Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm thinking exactly what you're thinking, Larry. I won't say anything if you won't. <laughs> Notes on Jasmine campaign. Janine Fleur, measurements 37, 23, 37. Wow. <laughs> Adjectives to be used in copy describing her. Provocative, dazzling, ethereal. <laughs> Personally supervised photographs for campaign. Get headshots featuring her large, soft, dark eyes. Get night shots at beach, moonlight. Janine holding perfume bottle in her long, slender fingers should be irresistible in a bikini. <laughs> What happened? You were having a nightmare. <laughs> Didn't seem like one. I say it was. I know a nightmare when I see one. Go back to sleep, dear. I'd like to change her position just a bit. Vegas. There, Janine, why don't you try your hand up here, just stroking the bear's nose? Uh, thank you. There you go. You keep moving her around, we'll be here all day. I think we've got it now. Hold it. Thank you. Is that lunch? Go ahead. Lunch, Janine. Oh, wonderful idea. I'm starving. Where shall we go? We? Oui. I'm afraid I can't. I'm meeting my wife. Oh. Well, I wouldn't ask you or interfere, except that it's... Well, never mind. Well, what is it? Well, it's probably foolish, but I think you'd better get another Miss Jasmine. Another Miss Jasmine? What for? Now, hold it. I think we better talk about this. But your lunch. I'll cancel it. Oh, please don't do that because of me. My wife will understand. She knows that at the moment, the most important thing in the world is jasmine perfume. Now, why don't you go and change, and I'll give her a call. All right, I'll hurry. Hello? Oh, hi, darling. I was just leaving. What? Oh, no, no, I understand. Yes, well, you go ahead. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> All dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> I am going to have lunch with Darren. Really? One of these days when he's not too busy. Oh, I understand, dear. No, you don't. You think my husband broke a date with me because he's taking another woman to lunch. I haven't said a word. Well, it's business. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Oh. Ah. 
Samantha, this is Louise Tate. I'm at the corner filling station. I must see you right away. Right away? Well, wouldn't it be better if I met you somewhere? Oh, well, uh, if, if it's that urgent, Louise, yes, all right, I'll see you. I'll be right there. Good, and goodbye. Of course not. Is Larry all right? Up till now, yes. Well, for heaven's sakes, Louise, what happened? Samantha, Larry and I have been married for 16 years. Did you know that? Yes, of course. Well, now, after all this time, has something happened between you and Larry? Yes, finally. Louise, no. I'm going to be a mother. Louise, no. Yes. The doctor just called to say the tests were positive. I'm on my way to see him now. Will you come with me, Samantha? Oh, yes, of course. I'm terrified. Why? It's the most wonderful thing that could ever happen to a woman. Well, I'm not so terrified of the thought of being a mother as I am of Larry being a father. <laughs> Larry will make a wonderful father. What did he say when you told him? I'm afraid to tell him, Samantha. Afraid? Well, after all these years, I don't think Larry's going to care for the idea. Besides, he hates children. Why? He says they're too young. <laughs> oh, my stars. Come on, Louise. Louise. 